Welcome to Storytime with Susan. We are reading BMX Bully, written by Jake Maddox, illustrated by Sean Tiffany, text by Anastasia Soon. Chapter 3 Second Moto Matt put his helmet on and rolled his bike up to lane one. It was time for the second race. Matt looked down the line. Tyler was in lane six this time. Bang! The gate went down, and Matt pedaled as fast as he could. He cleared the first three low rolls in seconds. Matt could hear the other riders coming up behind him. The first turn was just ahead. I have to make it there before Tyler, Matt thought. Faster and faster he pedaled. Then he leaned hard and went through the bottom of the turn. It was shorter at the bottom, so he pulled out first. Hey, Tyler yelled. Matt rolled up the first tabletop and flew over it. He didn't even land on it. The two rising hills were next. They ended at the next turn. Matt leaned forward as he pedaled and jumped up. He could hear the other riders behind him. At the beginning of the second turn, someone hit his back wheel. Matt tried to straighten out his bike, and wham, another rider hit him, and they both fell over. As Matt went down, he saw Tyler ride past. Matt untangled himself from the other kid's bike and got back on his own. The other riders are already on the last straightaway. Matt began pedaling. He jumped the two flat tabletops and turned left. Then he came to the three hill jumps. Matt could hear the other rider coming up behind him. Matt pedaled faster. As the other rider came closer, Matt jumped higher. Around the last curve he flew, and then it was the last straightaway. Matt rode full speed into the four low rises and made it through all of them. He crossed the finish line fifth, not last. Oh boy, you are good, said Tyler. Now you're only second to last, not dead last. Matt ignored him and rode off. Mr. Big Shot can't take it, Tyler yelled after him. Not from you, I won't thought Matt. You only win because you cheat. Check out my next video for chapter four. As always, please like and subscribe. Thank you for joining me for Storytime with Susan.